Welcome back. This is sequence three of the course, and uh, we learn why we have chosen OCaml by listening to the voices of users, real users, and understanding why they are so excited about this language. So, who is using the OCaml programming language? Of course, it is used in teaching in many universities, not only in France, where the language was born. You have many universities in Paris and all around. In Europe, various universities in different countries, in Italy, in Denmark, in Poland, in Austria, in the United States, in prestigious places like Cornell University, Harvard, or Massachusetts, and Pennsylvania, and many other places. But here we are more interested in learning why it is used in advanced research projects. The Cochrane System, which was awarded the Software System Award by the Association of Computer Machinery just last year, the Astray Static Analyzer, which is used daily to verify the command and control code of the Airbus A380, the Pharmacy Platform, which performs advanced analysis of C code, Oxygen, which is a revolutionary way of writing web applications, Altergo, a SAT Molitrisi solver, Mirage OS, which is an incredible uh, achievement, developing a kernel as a library that you can bind in directly inside your system, uh, in your, your application to run the application on bare metal, or Flow and Hack, which are PHP or JavaScript type checkers. Yes, they are, we are type checking other languages, but the type checker is written on camel, it's fundamentally written on camel, and this is a project coming from Facebook, and many others. And then you have industry using in, uh, or come in for advanced and sophisticated applications. Of course, you will find finance application, Bloomberg, Jane Street, Lexify, but you have aerospace systems like the Dassault Aviation using this. Then you have a virtualization of cloud Citrix, uh, operating system, Microsoft Red Hat, and various other. So it's very interesting to hear what all these people say. We ask it, many of these people to provide us a quote for this course to explain why they have chosen the language and why this is important for them. So let's start with uh, Astre, which is used to ensure safety of critical, uh, of critical embedded code. So Antoine Minet, which is a, a researcher, one of the main contributors to the Astre system, uh, told us that the language was essential to develop a system as sophisticated as this analyzer because it's a type safe it's a functional language, it's robust, and has a high-performance native code compiler, which is important when you have to verify millions of lines of code written by smart ideas. Then you have mechanized proofs. Uh, we said the Cog Proof Assistant, which was awarded an important uh, prize, is entirely written on Camel too. And the code development team told us if they really need to choose one particular feature of the language which is essential for them, that was pattern matching because otherwise implementing complex symbolic computations would be really a nightmare. So Trustingsoft is a startup that provides groundbreaking technology for checking safety uh, of uh, software which is used in security uh, applications. For them, OCaml is fundamental because it is efficient and it is ex expressive. I mean, they need efficiency because they are working at the frontier what is technically possible today. They need expressivity because they are, again, developing sophisticated analyzers, so they need to be concise. And they need static type checking because of that way you can avoid an incredible amount of errors. But then you have also next generation web application like the Oxygen framework. Vincent Bala, which is a creator of Oxygen, considered that Thanks to the camel type system, uh, Oxygen can do incredible things like checking statically. This means when you compile it, uh, that uh, a web application will never generate invalid HTML pages or that the form really has the feel which are expected for the application to run. And then in, uh, he also thinks that uh, the type system is extremely powerful and useful for refactoring a large project. When you need to change the data definition and adapt the program to the new data definition, the compiler really points out every piece of code that needs to be modified. And this, for them, is life-saving. It saves days of testing and debugging. Uh, then you have OCaml Pro, which is a professional company that specializes exactly in OCaml development. They, they are the, the best one in town you can find if you need to have some OCaml development be done. And 
Again, they point out that what is fascinating compared to other languages is that in, in OCaml, often you just define the type of your data and then naturally, uh, gently, the compiler will drive you towards the development of the right program very fast. And for them, this is really fascinating. We really hope you will get a taste of this power during the course of, of this MOOC. Cryptography. In cryptography, you have another startup which is called CryptoSense. They develop software which is used to assess vulnerabilities in cryptographic system. And for them, OCaml is a strategic advantage because they can produce quickly software which is, for them, high quality, readable, and reusable. Finance. Here you find LexiFi, which is a, probably one of the earliest adopter, uh, industrial adopter of uh, the Ocamian language. They create innovative software for managing complex financial products. And for them, beyond safety, readability, expressivity, and great performance, which are mentioned by many other, it is really important uh, to be able to have a portable system. They have clients using Unix, Windows, or even just a web browser, and they are able to deploy their product all across all the line. And I'm very happy to see there is a growing interest and activity around OCaml today. There was an operating system. Here you find Mirage project, which is a, a, a fantastic undertaking to write a full exokernel or unikernel entirely in OCaml. This means they are going to write every functionality which is needed by an application to run on bare metal, I mean the pieces of operating system, we can be linked directly inside the application to be order of magnitudes faster than an application just run through an operating system. This has already been done and it has done entirely in OCaml. For them, the combination of static type safety and fast native code compilation are fundamental for doing this operating system level development. And finally, we can also mention a, a, a very interesting paper. I, I do suggest that you go and get this communication of the ACM in September 2011. Jaron Minsky from Jane Street wrote a paper which was called OCaml for the Messes, explaining why Jane Street, which is a company that built financial trading tools that handle $10 billion per day, 2% of all financial transactions around the world, and run them through software written in Italian OCaml, for them, it's really important to be able to write smaller, simpler, easier to understand system than using other languages for a very simple reason. I mean, if you have a smaller piece of code, you have less chances to have bugs. That's clear. For them, for an organization like them, where a mistake can cost you millions of dollars, this kind of feature are fundamental. And also for them, the type system is really fundamental to find bugs which are hard to get through testing directly. And finally, virtualization and cloud computing. You have Citrix with Xen hypervisor. I mean, all the tools around the Xen hypervisor are also written in OCaml. And Richard Schaaf from Citrix told us that OCaml has really been, been key to bring productivity and efficiency improvement in their development. So to sum up, there is a wide variety of users in the common language, from teaching to research to industry. And if you look at the, all these quotations, you will see that all of these people unanimously value the safety which is brought by strong static, static typing and by pattern matching, the efficiency of a high performance compiler. You just don't want a safe programming language and then slow programs. You also want fast programs and expressiveness, which is really this magic combination, this magic triangle we have seen in the previous sequence, of a functional language with type inference, polymorphism, and abstract data types. We'll see a quick selection of the examples to get a taste of all this later on. Mm -hmm.